Hello and welcome, I'm Dante from Low Mana, and today we're looking at the first rounds of legendary skins for the summer games, as well as the teasers for the new rounds of Lucio Ball. We're only a few days away until another summer games goes live, and with that comes not only Lucio Ball, but lots of new skins, emotes, poses, sprays, as well as some surprising goodies. So what has been teased so far, and what if anything, does it all mean? First of all, we started with a leak from the South Korean Overwatch Twitter account, with a short clip of our new destination, Busan located, as you may have guessed, in South Korea. So far, it looks like we're not getting anything new in terms of a revamp of the mode. Just a new location, and I would assume that's going to come with the return of Ranked Lucio Ball. I'm still holding out for a new game mode, but if there is, they're holding it pretty close to their chest. As always leading into these events, we've started getting skin teasers. The first was last week, and we've pretty much been getting one every day since. Starting off with brand new skins for D.Va, Wave Racer. Following along the lines of the beach sports theme we've seen in previous years. And along with most of the sports themes, it's got the Meteor logo. The skin itself is based off speedboating, matching the first and only at this point cinematic version we've seen of her. Although fighting giant Omnix isn't quite as relaxing. The next we've got is for Reinhardt, and it looks like I'm not getting the baseball skin I was hoping for. Instead, we're getting a Gridiron Heart, an American football themed skin. Gridiron is a reference to American football as the version of the sport that's played. I'm not exactly known for my knowledge of sports ball, but I think the reference for the Griffins champions is linked to the university team, Gelf, who won their championship in 2015. This even matches the colour of his armour. It's a little odd to have a Canadian influence on a German themed character, so I would hazard a guess that someone on the dev team went to this university. Personally, I think the skin looks a little odd and would look better on Doomfist, as he's also known for charging. Either way, I'm looking forward to see this in action. The third is actually a baseball skin, but for Winston, as a catcher. Again, this is in the general meteor theme that the Overwatch sports teams go for. It's another nicely made skin, but I'm more interested to see what comes out with it. The new voice lines, or perhaps new baseball themed emotes. The last skin we have is Anna, and unlike the others, isn't sports related at all. Instead, she's taking a much needed vacation with her cabana skin. And from what it looks like, she's picked herself up a beach ball emote, which I think is better than the skin itself. But what do you think? What do you think of the skin so far? And what do you want to see from the summer games? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like or a dislike if you prefer. Don't forget to subscribe, support the channel, and use the bell to be notified of new content as it goes live. Until next time, I've been Dantir. Thanks for watching.